Hey guys, welcome to a special episode in which I'm gonna talk to the camera, something I never do, but I wanna give it a try. Uh, for this episode, I will be discussing my least favorite Led Zeppelin songs. Uh, I found eight songs I didn't really like. It was hard because, you know, I'm a Led Zeppelin fan and I pretty much love everything they've done. I always have a hard time listening to these. So let's go right into it. I have my notes here, so... I let's start with number eight. Uh, Sugar Mama from Coda. It's hard to take this song serious because you feel it's like a joke or a parody or they're just having fun But the repetition becomes too much, you know, especially Robert's vocals uh, It's not the strong the repetition becomes too much Although I can appreciate the repetition because it sounds like 1968-1969 Zeppelin So John Bonham saves the song I guess but it's hard when the lyrics are just, you know, <laughs> Sugar Mama. Alright, number seven. Uh, live versions of Misty Mountain Hop. I enjoy the studio cut, you know, it's on my top 20 Let's Open songs ever. But live renditions um, have always felt a bit flat for me. Because I think the song requires keyboards and bass at the same time. As you know, I am a fan of the 1973 tour, but every time this song comes in, I just, you know, I'm gonna do maybe a pause or go get a drink or something. Despite John Bonham's drumming and Robert, you know, adding ad-libs and such, it never captured the magic of the studio version. And uh, it's a shame because it's one of the strong points of Led Zeppelin IV. But live, it doesn't cut it for me, so I'm a fan of the song Remains the Same, but I can see why they didn't include this on the 1976 soundtrack. Smart choice. Uh, number six, I Can't Quit You Baby from Led Zeppelin I. Uh, I can't quit this version because I like the version on Coda so much more. I think the interplay on Coda is much more wild and this sounds a bit um, claustrophobic on the studio version. Because it's such a killer number on stage, I think that's the way it should have been recorded. So yeah, number six, I can't quit you, baby. Uh, let's go to number five, Candy Store Rock. I can enjoy this if I listen to Presence in its entirety, but if I listen to this as a single number, it doesn't work because I think it's too repetitive, too repetitive, too repetitive, too repetitive. I don't understand what the main idea on the song is. You see things and you're exposed to situations that you're not familiar with. It's a throwback to the 50s. We'll suppose that, yes. It's a very um, gray sounding number that I think falls flat on the opening intention. Now, it's a very difficult number to play, really. Uh, the swing on the drums and the guitar parts are tricky. But as a studio creation, I don't know. I much rather listen to these guys do rockabilly numbers, uh, you know, on medleys. So yeah, number five, Candy Store Rock. Uh, number four, and it's Four Sticks. I don't really enjoy this number because I think it's too repetitive. Uh, Robert's vocals don't help because it's just too much high range singing. And live versions of this song prove it. It's tiring for the ears. Of course, I have to praise John Bonham's drum work, but I think Achilles' Last Stand is a harder song to play, and he has a lot of highlights in the discography, and this one, I think, it's a mix of, of the name, the legend of he using four sticks, but as a composition, I mean, it's in the Zeppelin 4, and I don't think it's up there with the rest of the material. Personal opinion. And again, if I'm listening to the entire album, I can stand it, but... It's definitely not when the levee breaks for me. Number three, Darlene. Even though I'm a fan of Coda, I really enjoy that album. Darlene has a problem. So the opening riff is hard hitting. You feel that Zeppelin is going into the future, you know, from the intro, the outdoor sessions, 1978. But then Robert Plant's vocals start to change your impression. Ooh, yeah. Now, some of the verses have very uninspired melodies and phrasing, really. Now, when the band goes into the second section, you know, the big band jazz stuff, similar to the Oceans finale, Robert just... Nobody, 
saving it all for you. You feel like he's struggling to see what kind of vocal stuff he can put there. Uh, the band's rocking real hard, you know, and it's a shame the instrumental section has those vocals on top. So every time Darlene comes in, I have sort of hope for this song to be different. I always forget just how unbearable Robert's vocals are for me in the last section of the song. So let's go to number two. And this will not be a surprise if you watch my previous videos because I've mentioned this before. Uh, number two, Dancing Days, the studio version. Live version, I love it. But the studio cut has a very harsh mix. The high frequencies are like knives in your ears. And I think it's hard to enjoy all the carefully constructed guitar layers with that kind of sound. And for me, uh, from a sonic perspective, it's the least enjoyable cut on Houses of the Holy. Now for some of you it will be Jamaica, but at least Jamaica has a nicer sounding mix, you know, powerful drums, bass frequencies and all. But Dancing Days, it's more like Suffering Days for me. Okay, number one. And this will not be a surprise to anybody here. Uh, Night Flight is my least favorite Led Zeppelin song. The John Bonham strums are amazing, hard hitting stuff. Now, as an instrumental, is actually a great song, but Robert's vocals turn this from Night Flight to Emergency Landing. And it's always hard for me to enjoy physical graffiti when this song comes in. Because I think to myself, yeah, this is an outtake. This is not the guy singing 10 Years Gone or In the Light. Or Kashmir. So how can this song be on the same record as Kashmir? Night Flight is a song I have a problem with. Let me play some clips of the specific moments I can't stand. Is it over yet? So there you have it, my eight least favorite Led Zeppelin songs. I would like to know your least favorite songs here in the comment section. And if you disagree with some of my picks, let's have a friendly discussion or a friendly disagreement on this. So until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.